often question how new technology affects us. Before the 18th century, it was rare for a human to catch a glimpse of their reflection. Now it is commonplace. The mirror is a relatively new technology. As a continually growing cellular structure, it's fair to say we never look the same. Our image is nothing more than a compilation of reflections and photographs that have caught our eye. Therefore, your image solely relies on how you piece together these images, easily influenced by your frame of mind, outlook, mood, self-esteem, which is why sometimes we look like a million bucks, and other times we find a monster in the looking glass. Ever since I was younger, people would always tell me, oh, you're so pretty, you're so adorable, but every time I look in the mirror, I never saw that. Uh, to be honest, when I was younger, I used to think I was a boy because I thought I was that ugly. When I look in the mirror, I don't like what I see. I see my thighs big. Um, I feel I have big arms, um, a big face, and a huge nose. I think I see, well, I know I see something different of what uh, people say they see. Um, it's hard to look in the mirror sometimes, but I mean, you have to get through the day, so. All the time. Yes. yes. I actually do a lot. Every day, every time. Sometimes. Yes, I do. I'm guilty, I know. Oh yeah, every day. I look really good, so how can I not? Yeah. Usually. Depends if I got myself ready that day. It's like, I like what I see, but I'm always trying to think, what could I do to improve this? What could I do okay. better? I'd say I like what I see about like seven out of eight times. I do. Usually I realize how actually pretty I am. I never, whoa, that sounds weird. Um, usually when I think about myself and I look down, I don't see like, yes, I do have thin legs. Yes, I do have a pretty face. But when I look at myself in the mirror, it's like, holy shit, I am actually pretty. Uh, nah. Today I look kind of crappy. It depends. Sometimes I just don't care. I wear sweats. Um, for the most That's part. That's such a personal thing. Uh, sometimes yes, yeah, sometimes no. Perception is different on how you view it. And I feel like I'm at an, I'm getting to an unhealthy weight. Like this, this is like, this is like the one thing that I might might have an issue with. But even this, I'm not like too like self-conscious about it. My forehead, I think, is a little bit too big. My nose. My acne, thighs and hips. My hair. Sometimes my hair's messed up. I'd like to get stronger chest muscles. Are kind of weak. That's about it. I actually don't have anything that I don't like about my body. I feel like I do have like a unique like structure to my body, but I'm pretty satisfied with what I have right now. My beard, my height. The thing is, I don't really love or like dislove my body. I'm, I'm happy with it, you know? It's just, it's just like, it's my body, it's what I was born with, it's what I, it's what I have, it's, it's what, what I'm happy with. It's, it's not like I love or like, it's not like an extreme like that. It's like, it's like I'm just kind of happy with what I see. I'm tall. My face. <laughs> my butt. I would say my broadness. I feel like I'm not like small cut, but I have like really like broad shoulders and as long as I don't get like the tummy, I'm good. What I love about my body, everything else. I'm tall. <laughs> I like, and I'm blonde, I guess. Yeah, I don't care about that stuff as much. 
you know, focus more on personality. Studies show, since our image is based on a compilation of photos and reflections, our brains, being selective, pick and choose the more flattering images to represent ourselves. This means the majority of us are uglier than we think. So, where do we go from here? Before the mirror, identity was solely based on personality and social interaction. Don't waste time worrying about your image. Makeup was originally invented to mimic good health. Eat right, exercise, hydrate, relax. Cultivate a personality and you will never feel ugly again.